Hey everyone, Howard Gearhauser here. I wanted to hop on really quickly to answer a question that I've been seeing quite a bit on some of our videos and that's relating to deuterium depleted water and more specifically how much deuterium depleted water should you drink per day. Now for those of you who don't know what deuterium is, we do have a whole video where we talk about deuterium and deuterium depleted water which you can go check out. But the short answer to that question is deuterium is a rare form of hydrogen. It's called an isotope of hydrogen that's really rare in nature. And hydrogen, if you recall, is what we use for fuel inside of our cells to create the energy necessary for the cell to fulfill its function. And that's done through the organelles called the mitochondria. The mitochondria act as an engine within our cells. So deuterium, being a rare form of hydrogen, is actually twice as heavy as normal hydrogen. So when deuterium is used as the fuel in the mitochondria, it's too heavy so it breaks the mitochondria. So the mitochondria cannot create energy. So if we accum accumulate too much deuterium, it kind of builds up like a sludge inside of a car's engine, preventing the engine from working properly. And then you don't have as much energy output. And if cells don't have enough energy to function, they break down and that's one of the big reasons why we get disease. So drinking deuterium depleted water essentially dilutes the deuterium that you've built up within your body back to normal levels so that it's not breaking the mitochondria. So that kind of gets into the question, well, how much of this water should I drink? And that really depends on a few different factors. The first factor is how much deuterium do you have collected inside of your cells? That's actually measurable. I'll put up a link to where you could go order that test, but it'll tell you how much deuterium you have inside of your body, which is pretty cool. Now, the water that most of us drink, and this includes distilled water, spring water, etc., has a good amount of deuterium in it. And that's one of the big reasons why we actually accumulate deuterium. Other sources of deuterium are processed foods. As I mentioned, the tap water especially, has a lot of deuterium. Other toxins have deuterium. Sugar, for example, is loaded with deuterium. And the other thing that deuterium does, other than break the mitochondria specifically, is it can cause cells to grow out of control. It can also affect the three-dimensional structure of proteins, and it can also damage the DNA within the nucleus of the cell. So there's a lot of problems that can happen if you have too much deuterium, and that can lead to conditions like cancer, heart disease, cognitive diseases, autoimmune disorders, and much more. So it's really important to regulate that deuterium level. Again, you can measure using a test, put the link in the description to where you could order that. So let's just say, for example, your measurement comes back at 150 parts per million as your deuterium levels. That would be on the higher side. The ideal level to have within your body is 130 parts per million. So in order to get you down closer to 130, we would recommend drinking deuterium depleted water that has 25 parts per million deuterium. And if you've done any research on deuterium depleted water, you'll notice that most of the concentrations are 25 parts per million through 125 parts per million. So if you drink the 125 parts per million deuterium depleted water, that would mean that not only 25 parts per million had actually been removed from the water. So that's not going to lower your number that much if you're drinking 125. If you drink 25, on the other hand, that'll lower your deuterium levels quite a bit. So starting out, what we typically recommend is to drink an equal amount of 25 parts per million water, deuterium depleted water, and then 50% or half your normal drinking water, whether that's distilled water, spring water, et cetera. And then that would average out to be about, uh, I believe it's 75 or 85 parts per million if you did 50-50. But again, that kind of depends on your deuterium levels from your initial test as well. So I'll also put up a link to where you could purchase the water if you're interested. We don't make the water, but this is a company that we like to use. So you could purchase it there. And those are just some rough guidelines. If you drink one liter of water per day, make it 50%, 25 part per million 
deuterium depleted water, and then 50% your normal drinking water. So hopefully that helped. Again, go check out the other deuterium video where we break this down even more, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.